Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Tawny Quast. Quast? Quast? Cast? <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope one of those was right. But thank you so much for the sweet message. You're awesome. Tawny said that she would love to see me on Big Brother. I'd love that too. <laughs> I will keep trying and thanks again. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon page. You won't regret it. Hopefully. All right, so let's just dive right in because there's some some shit went down. So anyway, um, we're getting close to the eviction here, and Day is starting to get a little nervous. I don't think she truly realizes how much danger she really is in this week, but she's trying to secure James's vote because there was that little slip up the other day um, when James was all like, "Yeah, double eviction. I'll put up Bridget and Victor." So Day was like, "Hey." really freaked me out when you said that you were going to put up Bridget and Victor in the double eviction because that would mean that I'm going home this week. So, you know, we're good, right? So she's asking James, like, do I have your vote 100%? James says yes. He says that she also probably has Natalie's vote because, come on, they're going to vote the same way. Uh, so then she's asking, like, have you heard anything else? And he says no. He hasn't heard anything about her going this week. But he promises to let her know if he does at any point. <gasps> of course James knows. Oh my god. But he's not telling her. So then uh, Day lets James know. Like you better be careful with that Nicole. Because she was pushing for Natalie to go up on the block this week. And James was like I know. Like I really dodged a bullet there. Because she definitely could have gone up. Alright so. Polly and Zakia. We're talking in the Tokyo room, and this is just where <laughs> things start to spiral out of control. So I just want to note first that Zakia was wearing sunglasses inside, and this is something that they complained about on and on and on when Tiffany was in the house. But now um, it's still happening with other people. So anyway, Zakia was saying, I want Bridget out this week, but... I will do what the group wants. So then Polly was trying to explain why he wants Day to go this week. She's targeting people in our group. We can't have that. And Zakia's like, uh, I just want to say, I got to say something. Um, Day has never mentioned your name specifically. Like, she's not coming after you. And Polly's like, yeah, well, she's said it indirectly. <laughs> sure. So then, um... Polly, he came into this with, like, some information. And he believes it to be true and now he's trying to test Zakia without her knowledge to see if she's gonna lie about it or if she's gonna give him the answers that he wants to hear so he's just like yeah I really didn't like that Day said to Victor the other day that she hates when she sees people whispering around the house and Zakia's like um I heard that Day said that Victor was the one who said that Polly's like, uh, no, it was Day, because she said it to a bunch of other people, too. I don't know who said that. I mean, honestly, both of them could have said that. Um, but Zakia seemed pretty convinced that Victor was the one who originally said that. I don't, I don't think she was lying about that. She may not have been right, but I don't think she was lying. Um, so then she was asking, like, who are the other people that she said it to? And Polly was just like, mm, don't worry about it. So Zakia was getting annoyed that Polly would not share this information with her. And then she's saying, like, oh, Nicole's been withholding information from me, too. It's really hurtful. It's upsetting. So then Polly accuses Zakia of not sharing all of her info with their group. So he starts asking her about this conversation that she was having with Michelle the other day when they were talking about how... Uh, their alliance like sucks because they're not sharing info with them um, and Polly's asking like was anyone else in the room during this conversation was it just the two of you was anybody else there and Zakia's like no like nobody else was there and he's like are you sure nobody else was there and eventually she remembers James was there but she thought that he was asleep so she wasn't lying about that but Polly was convinced that she was but at that point in the conversation uh, Michelle and Victor walk in and they they break that up but it's so not over yet. So Zakia was really upset after this whole ordeal. She was talking to Day about it. And Zakia's like, man, now it's not just Nicole, but Polly is also holding back information now. I don't know who I can trust. 
And of course, Day is telling her, like, uh, you can trust me. Keep me around. Um, but she says, don't worry, you're probably not in trouble. They're just keeping you out of the loop right now because I'm in trouble <laughs> and you're close to me. So then Zaki is saying, like, I'm going to pull Rachel Riley and I'm going to do this all on my own. Look, Zakia, <laughs> just because you're sort of in a showmance with someone does not mean that you are Rachel Riley. Rachel was playing the game, okay? She was playing the game. But anyway, I would love to see Zakia step up and like win shit and like do crazy stuff. But anyway, Zakia is talking to Nicole about the Polly situation. And she's like, I just had this awful conversation with Polly. I feel like he's accusing me of things that I didn't do. He's acting like I'm a liar. I'm always honest with him. And he won't tell me information. So then Zakia is like, just send me home next week. Just send me home. I don't want to be here for this. So Nicole's like, oh no, it's okay. Like, don't say that. So she's saying, it's probably just weird because the key is friends with Day and they don't want Day to find out any information. They don't want it to be weird. So Nicole's like, all right, Zakia, you go ahead, crawl into that Paris room and you wait there. I'll go get Polly and send him in to talk to you within the next half hour. So Zakia makes her way to the Paris room. Nicole pulls Polly aside and tells him Z wants to talk to you. She's really upset. So before he goes and talks to her, he's chatting with Nicole, and he's telling Nicole, uh, Zakia's mad at you too for withholding info, and Polly says that Zakia is trying to play Vanessa's game by acting like she's all alone and she's crying to get sympathy. At this point, I feel like whenever Polly sees anyone crying at all, he's just like, oh, they're playing Vanessa's game. We gotta get rid of them. Oh, that person's crying? No, that's Vanessa. Get her out of here. Clipper. <laughs> Never cared. Seriously, though, there's more to it than that. It's not just because she's crying. Come on. So then they start talking crap about Zakia. I mean, like, they're really going in. Um, and I just want to give you guys some perspective here. This conversation is happening on the Sky Bridge. Hookahs. And Zakia did not go all the way into the Paris room. She's chilling in the tunnel. So the tunnel has this little screen in it and she can see the sky bridge so she's watching Polly and Nicole talking I don't think she could hear them from where she was and there's definitely not audio on that you know with that screen but she was watching them like so it was crazy um, but then she sees Polly does not go right to talk to her after he's done talking to Nicole he goes to the HOH room to talk to Paul real quick, gotta complete that PP. Uh, <laughs> so he's telling Paul, like, yeah, I just caught Zakia in a bunch of lies and she's crapping her pants. So I'm gonna go talk to her and then I'll come back and tell you all about it. All right, so Polly finally goes to find Zakia. He finds her in the tunnel and they go into the Paris room together. And he's just like, I gave you two chances to tell the truth before two and he's pissed that she lied about james lied about james being in the have not room uh during that conversation with michelle and she's just like i wasn't lying i thought that james was asleep i've never lied to you stop so then paulie's like i don't want to give you information when i don't know where it's going and where it's going to end up uh and they're just going back and forth about whether or not she's a liar and she starts getting really upset she starts crying Vanessa and <laughs> he tells her like you're being really dramatic right now and it's making you look phony so then she gets even more upset uh, that he's calling her phony and he's like wow the phony thing is all that you're taking from this conversation that's it so she's just like Polly you're being cold right now it's so mean and he's just like oh, I'm just talking to you like you're an adult I'm giving you the information and then you can process it like an adult Woo! So then, I mean, it just, it goes on for quite a while, and it's not good. Um, Polly looked like a jerk. He wasn't even comforting her at all, and she was, like, crying. Um, but then eventually he's just like, this conversation is over, Z. We'll play the game, and that's it. So he leaves. She's just like, ah! All right, so Polly reports back to Paul in the HOHPP. That should be their official uh, symbol, but anyway... The other guys filter in throughout this discussion, and he tells them all about the conversation with Zakia. They all think it's hilarious. 
They're laughing it up. And then they do a little strategy chat. They're talking about getting rid of Bridget and Michelle next, get rid of the strong girls, and then it's just coast to the end. Uh, so then Paul, Polly, and Victor were uh, together in the HOH at one point, and they decide, decide that they're going to call their Guys Alliance of Five the executives. Because, and I think they were just messing with Victor um, because one of his nicknames is like exec or executive or something. So I think they're just messing around with him because we know that they do not want to go all the way to the end with Victor. They, he's kind of like outside of the guys group. But anyway, Zakia, after the Polly debacle, goes to the safari room to tell Nicole all about what happened. Why are you sharing all this with Nicole? Like, she is not your friend in this situation. But anyway, Zakia was saying she felt like a little kid who was getting in trouble and it was like really upsetting and she's never been upset like that since like one of her ex-boyfriends and it was just like, ugh. So then Nicole was just like, um, Polly still has your bag. You should trust him. Trust me and trust Corey. Like, we all care about you. And then <laughs> she was like telling Zakia, don't worry about this too much. You and Polly are still going to be a thing after the show because you have chemistry. Ugh. Nicole is that friend that's not really your friend and she tells you to keep going for this guy who has like no interest in you and treats you like garbage. That's what that is. So then Zakia is telling Day about what happened with Polly and Day is just like, I warned you in the beginning to save all of that for September when the game is over and there's no distractions and you can just like be together. But she didn't want to get involved once Zakia and Polly started getting close. It wasn't any of her business and Zakia's like, I know, I know, like I've learned my lesson. Have you? Uh, so Day is telling her like, don't let this ruin your game. Don't forget why you're here. You're here to play the game. Stay strong. I'll have your back as long as I'm still here. Wink, wink. So then, after they talk, Day goes to the London room. She's in there by herself, and she's doing, like, the celebratory dance. And she's like, I think I might have my girl back. She's not distracted anymore. Day's mood completely flips. She's so excited. And she's like, uh, Zakia's feelings are hurt, so she can help me take out Polly if they don't send my ass home this week. I gotta say, that's a big if. <laughs> um, it's not looking good for Day, and again, I don't think she realizes she's in some deep shit right now. Like, she's going home, unless she's got that ticket. But anyway, Natalie and James were having a strategy session, and Natalie's telling him, like, I may not know a lot about the game, but, like, you need to listen to me sometimes. Day will be crushed if you vote her out. You're from the same season, you're friends, like it's gonna hurt her if you vote her out. Also, game-wise, Day would not put you up on the block. So, I mean, like, we need to keep her. So then Natalie, bless her heart, <laughs> Natalie's reason for wanting Bridget out is hilarious. So remember the other day when James pranked Natalie and like wrapped up her makeup bag in like a million yards of saran wrap and stuff? So they're out of saran right now. So Natalie brings up this comment that Bridget made in the kitchen after James walked out of the room. She was making a pie and she was just like, I wish I had some effing saran wrap to cover my pie. So Natalie's just like, I can't believe she said that. Like, that's passive aggressive. What if she puts you up on the block? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's going to take more than that um, for a nomination. But anyway, James is like, I want to keep Davon, but even if we vote for her to stay, and Mish and Zakia vote for her to stay, that's only four votes, that's only good enough for a tie, and that's that could really blow up our game, so I just don't know if we can do it. Alright, so then Zakia was telling Michelle about the Polly conversation, it never ends. But Michelle is not that Nicole friend, Michelle is that friend who's just like, eh! him so she's saying like f polly we're done with that crew meaning like polly nicole and corey they're always off whispering with each other now they're not sharing information with them she's done with them we know how michelle is so they're talking about how they have to win the next hoh they need to like grab this game by the horns and then they're saying like if polly's in the final two we're not gonna vote for him anymore mm -mm. so then that sounds great and everything but w T F 
<laughs> Polly and Zakia find themselves alone in the HOH room. Polly goes over to her and freaking picks her up. She wraps her legs around him. So they're in like a full body hug for like minutes. Minutes. And she's like kissing him on the shoulder and she's like, I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> so he's telling her, oh, it's fun. Like, that wasn't even a fight. Yeah, so I guess they made up. Are you freaking kidding me? So then Day comes in. She's asking Polly, are you for sure voting Bridget out? Because I noticed that you're all buddy-buddy with her. And that didn't start until I was up on the block. So, like, what's the deal? Are we good? So Polly tells her, yes. If you were going home this week, I would tell you. Wow! Oh, all right. <laughs> so last night, I mean, there were some late conversations. Day, Michelle, and Zakia, they're starting to put the pieces together here. They're realizing Polly's running this crap, and their group is not their group anymore. So on the flip side, Polly is also noticing that they're putting the pieces together. So they're in some freaking danger right now. You know, they need to get it together or they're going to be out of here. So it got off to a pretty slow start today, things. Um, but this afternoon, Day and Nicole were chatting in the safari room. And this was kind of hilarious because Day was like, you know, in the beginning, Nicole, you were in my dreams for good things. And now it's for bad things. And when Day is talking about her dreams, she's talking about her diary room sessions. So Nicole does not pick up on this at first. And she's just like, well, you weren't in my dreams. That's so weird. And then Day's like, no, my diary room. So then they're talking about things that they've heard about each other. Like you're coming after me. I heard you're coming after me. So I mean, they've had conversations like this before and it didn't really go anywhere. And guess what? It still didn't. I mean, they agreed that this might be Frank's doing. He's not even in the house anymore, but he's still having an effect on everyone. But they end up hugging at the end of this conversation. Again, it didn't really do anything. Uh, but it's been a pretty boring day so far. But tomorrow is the big eviction. So it's going to be either Day or Bridget, unless one of them has the round trip ticket. It's looking like Day. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and until tomorrow, much love. Edit.